Good morning. I am Adam Harris, and this is The Day Ahead. Don't forget to click subscribe below to receive daily market analysis videos and important alerts. On the economic calendar for today, we only have the U.S. Michigan CPI date out at 1.30 p.m. And yet, judging by the currencies and commodities, it looks as though the U.S. dollar is going to fight to close above 97, leading to a weaker euro and sterling. The oils are still keen on climbing despite this, and in the global indices and equities, the charts now show bears actively stepping back in to push the markets lower today. You can jump to any chapter by clicking on the time link in the description below. Starting off with currencies, having a look at that US dollar index, you can see here definitely interacting a lot of buyers and sellers around that 97 level, and that's creating quite a bit of increased volatility. So yesterday we had the market swinging in uh, multiple directions uh, back and forth and uh, just increasing that. It's the same thing here, looking at euro, US dollar, uh, headed down, bounced back up off 1.125, uh, then encountered uh, and appears to be encountering resistance at 1.13. Uh, so I'd like to see if we can get above that. If we do, we'll see a climb a lot higher by the end of the day today but it's actually indeed looking like it's going to be pushing back down towards 1.125 by the close of today's candle which is the close of uh, the week as well uh, cable's done quite a steady retracement all the way down no uh, not expecting much there other than some potential retracements on the four hourly and then to continue downwards so also still looking at uh, expecting a stronger us dollar and weaker uh, cable we had uh, eurocad actually take a bit of a move back uh, so it's heading back into the moving averages here but there's definitely bullish though Divergence, so I'm now a uh, lot more concerned about taking any re-entries into this. Uh, did hit its one-to-one, -one, uh, just not convinced that it's going to continue trending at the same strength that it did before. Aussie CAD is still stuck within its range, nothing really happening there. CAD Swissy, uh, CAD Swissy also same thing, similar to EuroCAD, had that big reversal, hit this uh, current or local uh, resistance and bounce back so that one hitting it's uh, just over it's one to one and then coming back so i'll have to reassess that at a later stage might remove those from my watch list swiss yen now looking though it's closer and closer to breaking out uh, through this level uh, macd is still diverging bullishly so i'd like to see that flatten a bit before it does uh, ultimately do that and then uh, lastly on my list for today aussie kiwi having broken through pretty solidly through that level now this now looks more likely to continue down uh, this is a much healthier breakout and those uh, momentum indicators are nice and bearish so I may be looking for shorter term re-entries into this now that we're on this side of the line and uh, in the commodities on the move looking at gold still finding some strong support at that 382 level as well and uh, attempting to push on higher so yesterday's candle being particularly bullish and we're pretty close to breaking the high of that so through this consolidation we may actually see it start to go higher if we do get that stronger US dollar we could then just ultimately continue to sit within this range uh, so no real tradable opportunities other than the position I entered in uh, last week uh, silver still producing that bearish candle on the monthly so having a I'm just keeping an eye on that bigger picture here that strong level of supports has now become resistance and uh, looking to see if we do ultimately end up getting a uh, continuation of that downtrend uh, doesn't really make sense within the bigger picture in terms of that but technically that is very much what it wants to do palladium continues to push up it's going to encounter that 1400 level which will be relatively significant and then potentially take a bit of a breather from that so i'll reassess once we've kind of connected with that and pull back um, whether there's any opportunities there to get in. Crude oil actually continuing here to it, uh, very keen on uh, attempting to get back over this next level of resistance close to 82. And uh, that will certainly uh, be more encouraging to see that happen. United States, uh, uh, Brent as well. Very nice continuing on upwards to that 185 level looking nice the trend of this overall nice and healthy uh, this is the next level of resistance uh, so a nice little reaction to that a pullback a retest of this level and getting back in would be a great thing to see but however if we do slice through this then that's an indication very much of how bullish uh, this is going to be how bullish this market's going to be and just looking at bitcoin and ethereum quickly very little happening at the moment in terms of the bigger picture really just pretty thin on the ground and no real significant tradable opportunities uh, there um, overall the trend on the on the medium and uh, bigger time frames is still very much down um, but it's just bobbing around at this point ethereum as well uh, so pretty much uh, look would only be considering shorting opportunities but nothing there is really uh, grabbing my interests looking at the global indices so we've uh, had a bit of a down day yesterday and actually it comes fresh off uh, this recent high so we just go a little bit high we've we've then produced a swing high and there is definitely 
bearish divergence in uh, this. So what does that mean? It means we've got a lower high in the MACD, we've got a fresh high in price, we've got that contradiction, that divergence, and that indicates that we're again likely to now encounter a consolidation period or a deeper pullback. Um, so just noting that is now present on quite a few of the charts and uh, we uh, this is very clearly evident now looking at the S&P 500 fresh high there but it's come back down below this level of resistance and definitely heading low in the MACD so that now looking bearish if we then compare this to say Hong Kong that session which is coming to an end at this point in time as I'm recording this and they've actually had quite a bearish day uh, so quite a bearish day already that implies that uh, we may continue to have yet another bearish day as we head out of uh, or sort of at least as we head into the US session later today um, again on the uh, UK FTSE which has been traditionally also quite bearish this is overall done really 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 well so I think there's a fair amount of bulls in the market it's just a question of whether there'll be enough to kind of help it recover by the end of day today but it does imply that we're looking at a potential consolidation or a deeper retracement and here's the Germany DAX taking a bit of a knock pushing it back down towards this level of support so just noting that and finally on Australia uh, it's looking as though it's pretty much managing to hold its own so this being the first kind of uh, sort of more bearish outlook we've had in a while and uh, we'll have to see how that ultimately closes out the week um, but certainly implies that we're going to have another down day out of the US based off, uh, off Hong Kong. And lastly for today, looking at those equities in focus, just on the weekly time frame over here, noticing that Facebook has produced a swing high here. So just implying a potential deeper retracement, uh, but overall has, has broken that uh, weekly downtrend. So now the question is, can it, is it doing a bit of a weekly retracement ahead of that? Uh, what else is likely to happen? Then having a look at Netflix. So Netflix, I was looking at a breakout of this flat level. It hasn't quite got there yet. Uh, still waiting for it to get over that line uh, and s see if it's able to do that. So in light of everything else being quite bearish, that might uh, ultimately turn out to be a bit of an issue. We've got Microsoft as well in a similar predicament, also uh, trying to break out of a uh, level of resistance up here. This is a nice little bullish breakout pattern. We're not there yet. We now have to get over the second line here. We've actually got a zone, which isn't always the case, but in this case, uh, we do have that Boston Scientific. I'm going to keep an eye on this one. This is a good uh, barometer of the uh, overall sentiment. It's also had a bullish day yesterday. I was hoping for it to come back to retest this historical. These are the previous historical highs and have a look and see if we can get back here. Otherwise, it seems to have just come back to that previous high over here and is finding some support already on that. So I'll just place a level there. Uh, so what we now have as of uh, just the last uh, 48 hours, we've got some more bearishness uh, coming back into the markets. Uh, showing itself a little bit more especially in these the list of my sort of traditionally bearish ones they're all starting to produce more down days and just looking that a little bit more bearish than bullish and we've got that divergence between the bullish stocks but actually some of these also not really looking as bullish so just commenting on that as well uh, all of these ones where I said that they've had some up moves and they really have they're just failing to go any higher at this point in time uh, BP I spoke about yesterday that being a nice little bullish setup the market did not break the high so it didn't follow through instead we've actually had a move down uh, here's the, a really key level of support so if we do come back down this is really what I'm going to be looking for to see if we do find some support here and uh, so it'll be interesting first of all to see how we close out the week if we do have a recovery from today but it's not looking like we will and uh, and then next week if we end up hitting a little bit low we might just be getting a weekly retracement but certainly now the battle is back on the bears are stepping are stepping back in so on that note ladies and gents i want to wish you a wonderful weekend and uh, remember if it's trending i'll be there just a reminder to hit the subscribe button if you want to stay abreast of what's happening in the market i'll be producing and bringing you the latest in the markets every morning in a freshly produced video